This is episode 34 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, March 8th, 2021. Today's show has an amazing lineup, maybe the best we've had since we've been recording, with a milkshake hazy IPA, an ESB, a grisette, and a pastry stout. <laughs> This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Yo, yo. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. We got the neighbor's kids next yeah, door. Crackling yeah. up a storm over Are there. A dog. We got, we got a lot going on here today. Airplanes a lot of, a lot of beers over. to talk about, too. It's all kinds of Helicopters, sounds. airplanes. Should I fire up the fire just to bake you guys out like last week? No. <laughs> today, we got, a, we got a lot of beers to talk about today. At least a so lot least. of beers. They, um, so today, we have... Uh, well, let's start it off, Charlie. Roger well, uh, so today we uh, the beers are all um, local to San Diego. Going they, creature um, first. So there it is. So the uh, the the first beer that Charlie pulled out is a tale of two creatures, uh, creative creature and Coronado Brewing Company collaboration. It's a. You um, said it was a milkshake IPA, Charlie. It's a little bit. Oh gosh, it smells fantastic. The write up on this is a double dry hop milkshake hazy IPA brewed with Sabaro, coconut, key lime, vanilla, and milk sugar. It's That's what I'm like smelling. A, like Every a creamy key lime pie. <laughs> this delicious hazy was a collaboration with the homies from Coronado Brewing Company. So that's from Creative Creature out there in El Cajon. East County. In mm-hmm. the heart of East County. Right downtown. Right downtown. The smallest brewery. Yet, good brewery in the heart of El Cajon. Because there's only two in El Cajon, right? Is there? Burning and Creative Creature. Burning Beard and Creative Creature. Um, yeah, I'm not certain if anybody else is. Uh, isn't there a... Aren't they... Maybe I'm thinking somewhere else. I thought they were brewing at that home uh, that, that home brewing store in El Cajon. I could be wrong, though. Mm. If they are, I'll hit them up. Find out what's going on I'll dig on into that there. for next time. So this uh, this week, guys, uh, you know the the San Diego Beer News. They um, Brandon Hernandez. Uh, they you know they're uh, a lot of information coming out on, on beers. They did the San Diego Beer Awards yeah. uh, this this year. It was all online. It was about four hundred beers, three hundred eighty five beers or so that they had uh, that had entered. They did two different categories. They did um, fans and then industry. So like if you were in the industry, you could you you voted. Then they did two different award shows. Uh, so, so those results just came out. A lot Let's of, hear it. A lot of pretty good, uh, pretty good breweries on there. Anybody we know? Burning Beard uh, definitely um, rated rated pretty high, I believe. I'll, I'll pull up the results here. Do you guys have any good beers this week? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the I first time so. ever. Let's hear it, Chris. Or Steve, I'm sorry. What'd you get? I'm going to go with uh, Harlan Brewing's uh, Hazy IPA. It was really, really good. Really hazy. Was it? Yeah, like orange juice hazy. Yeah. yeah. It, was it was really good. It's really good. Let's hear about that. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of their that beers. That beer I gave you, that Pilsner. Uh, I didn't like it as much as I <laughs> thought I was going to. <laughs> I knew I'd get a little rise out of Steve on that one. That yeah. was pretty funny. That's what you drank? Just one beer, Harlan? No, that's my pick. Oh, okay. When we when we discussed this segment, it was one beer choice. Oh, it was your favorite beer of the week. Crap! Oh, the favorite beer of the week. Yep. Um, Not every beer of the week. <laughs> Dang it! I apologize. No, no problem. No problem. They were all my favorite. Yeah. You got a lot of favorites. You know, it's yeah. like your kids. How do you how do you choose you a favorite? Oh wait, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say um, it's going to have to be the uh, Irish Red from Deft Ooh. if it's going to be my favorite. Wow. That was, that was pretty. It was pretty good. Awesome, huh? guys do a great job. They do a great job of uh, of their beers down yeah. there for sure. Super impressed. We're gonna have to get a hold of them guys. I almost stopped by them on the way home today, but really, <laughs> wow, almost, <laughs> almost. Too much to do. What'd you have there, Cnor? Um, the favorite beer I think I had. I feel like I, 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 I mean, I drink a lot of these guys' beer, but but uh, I had a, I had a foggy IPA from. Uh, Mm-hmm. Um, it was Kook Sky. Uh, oh, I wanted to try it. It was really, really good. It was uh, um, uh, Kook Sky Fogger. Uh, it, was, uh, <laughs> it was a uh, New England IPA. It was a, a hazy IPA. 
Humble um, C. Man, it was super. You know, I'm I'm just a fan of what they do. I, I, I get the stuff delivered, but it was double dry hopped with Rewaka Nelson and and uh, Waka Two. Waka Two, I guess. I guess that's what that says. I was either which way it was good. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I can't wait to drink that one. Brought one. Uh, did you? Did you have? No, it? I haven't had it yet. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be good. I know it's going to be. Steve's good. got the 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 Star Wars glass. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to look. It's yeah. going to look. Yoda, great the on Star Wars. Instagram. He's got them all. Yeah, it was a uh, um, it was a good beer. I, I I didn't have a whole lot of beer this week. I I spent a lot of time hit a new gym. I'm going mm-hmm. to a new gym now. You cross so fitty makes it uh cross fitty sin. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of uh, I getting murdered in the morning. Uh, yeah. And then going in after a few beers. So. They will destroy then, you. Uh, yeah, I, know. I agree. I agree. I, I'm there. I, um, yeah, it's at least I can, you know, get a hangout with Megan every morning. Yeah. No, it's, it's good for you. I can guarantee you that. It's just brutal. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's tough. No, for sure. I'll tell you, well, I told you already, but I'll tell Steve. I said, I, I used to work out at the gym he's working at. Oh, okay. And we were, um, bust and tail one day, you know, and I, I come home and I'm exhausted. I mean, I sweat like 60 pounds of sweat, I guess. And I come home to take a shower, get in the jacuzzi, get out of the jacuzzi, take another shower, <laughs> just a quick rinse off. And Janet goes, Hey, let's go down to so and so and get a, get a little salad for lunch. And I'm like, Great, sounds good. You drive. <laughs> So I get in the car, we're driving down the thing. She goes, Hey, I'm going to, I want to give me a piece of gum. Would you like a piece? And I'm like, I am too tired to chew gum. <laughs> That's how tired I was. I mean, it was brutal. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a tough, tough go. Let me tell you, but it'll get better for a while and then it'll get worse. Yeah. No, they, there's definitely some people that are in phenomenal shape in there. So, um, yeah, they're youthful. Yeah. There's not too many of those guys that are your age and they're busting it out. Couple, well, we'll, we'll just a see. Couple. There, there's some guys that are. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, so, what do you guys think of this? This is I great. Love it. Milkshakey, I love it. Certainly, a lot of a lot of lemon in there. You, mm-hmm. it, I'm impressed. I was impressed. I guess with, lime as it is. Yeah, huh? there are other there are other milkshakey that we had while we stopped over there and got a beer on the on the little patio thing they have there. Outstanding. This is right up that alley. Super good. They make great beer. Really yeah. tiny place over there. I got to go. Small but yeah, powerful. It's been, it's been a long time since I was yeah. there. Yeah. We went there when that the the <laughs> first place over there, yeah. like it was the El Cajon Brewing yeah. Company or uh-huh. something. Mm-hmm. That was like many moons yeah, ago. Yeah, many moons yeah. ago. They, uh, that wasn't so good. No, they didn't stick around very long either. And then it turned to Urban, and mm-hmm. Urban had their brewery out there. Mm-hmm. That brewery then turned into I went Wild to that Barrel. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I didn't do Wild Barrel, I don't think. That's where they, yeah, that's where they yeah. sold their equipment to, mm. I think. So. But these guys are doing it right. Is it yeah, Derek? Yeah. yeah, Derek. Derek? Yep. And then, um, so the brewer, the other brewer there, um, uh, he, he has a twin, right? Um, so one of them was, was brewing at Burning Beard, um, mm-hmm. and now he brews at, um, at uh, Creative Creature. Uh, his brother used to brew at... Um, Coronado, Coronado yeah. and now he brews at Embolden, mm. um, up wow. in uh, in Miramar. Thirty, uh, I think it was thirty two North. Was that where they? I don't know. Forget the brewery that they took over for. Latitude thirty three. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, okay. Anyways, but no, good beer, good little brewery. Happy for them. I'm glad they're doing some great beers. But uh, I think it's time we move on to the next. Very well. Which is another East County beer. One of our favorites. Yeah, definitely one of our favorites. I mean, any beer in East County were favorites. I mean, because we're kind of East County. So this uh, the San Diego Beer News, uh, the reason we wanted to kind of look at this one. So this is uh, uh, Banksy on Nitro, so make sure you kind of hard pour it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but well, the um, – so they, they broke this beer awards up into, into numerous different areas, right? Like northern, coastal. Um, they uh, – so they had it broke down into coastal, mm-hmm. east county, central, um, but overall, Epic uh, went, took home fifteen uh, fifteen oh, yes. medals. Wow! Uh, between the um, nine of which were gold, being named the best brewer in the northern region. Epic. Yep. Excellent. Uh, yeah, north best brewery in the north. Um, Society. Uh, they were named uh, as the best brewery in the central region. 
uh, Lost Abbey and, and Pure Project both tied with with thirteen medals. Um, but then you know you get to you get to the East County. It says uh, the Eastern and, and Southern region uh, best breweries were different across uh, both pours. Uh, so it said Stone Brewing, which took top honors in the East. Which I, I find it hard to believe that they're like in the east. I kind of look at them in the north. Escondido yeah. would be east, right? Would be east. Yeah, but it'd be north too. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I would look at it more north. But but that took the fans. The and that's a beautiful brewery. That I mean, it's a beautiful brewery. But the um, but Burning Beard took the uh, the industry recognized for East County yeah. as far as uh, great call there. And what did it? Did, what did they enter? Um. So there was. So this was all put forth by either. Like the like the two polls, like you could go onto their Instagram and you could nominate a beer, um, and then people voted on the Instagram throughout. Okay, um, and then they did the same thing for industries. Industries could send in an email once, you know, for each category, I guess, for across the board. So if you know, there's a bunch of different categories. Like there's best brewery, right, and that that's northern region. Like that was epic, um, but yeah, there was uh, there was a lot going on there. A lot of uh, a lot of beers. A lot of really good beers, you know. A lot of, a lot of. Uh, well, fifteen medals is nothing to scoff at for crying out loud. Yeah, that's a lot of. They that was a pretty good, and pretty yeah, good. We've tasted Epic here, and they're outstanding for yeah. sure. Yeah, outstanding. how'd North Park do? Um, they they won. Uh, they had they had uh, a quite a few uh, quite a few medals as well. The um, I think the best. Did they have the best barrel aged? This um, macaroons before mm-hmm. dying, which is uh, we we're we're bringing in the the barrel aged portion, uh, or the barrel aged bottle of that. But I think their macaroons before dying won a medal for, um, looking for it right now, uh, for for a beer, for beer. Imagine that. <laughs> is it beer? It's great beer. Now this uh, this uh, Banksy on nitro, mm-hmm. outstanding. Yep. Yeah, we had this when we were there. Did they have it on See, I didn't have it. You didn't have it on nitro. And why? How come you didn't pour it like I poured it? Look at that. Now I got the bubbles. Nobody else yeah. has the bubbles. Give me that thing. I'll show you how to do this. <laughs> they took uh, a uh, um, barrel aged macaroons before dying, which is this, the next battle we'll have. Took a uh, a silver mm. for both industry right. and. Uh, but yeah, no, there's a, uh, so certainly the San Diego beer news, uh, or San Diego beer dot news, um, is, is the website that they, they have all these, uh, we'll put a link up on that. Yeah, absolutely. I think, but, um, yeah, certainly a lot of, a uh, lot of great breweries, uh, looking at it, I, I had found like, um, you know, I was interested in, in the new breweries, mm-hmm. right? Like the, the best new breweries. Um, I'm like, well, let's, uh, let's Who is see it? where those are. That's a good question, Charlie. <laughs> Should we play the Jeopardy theme now? <laughs> so it says uh, the best new breweries was in Bolden. Mm-hmm. So we just talked about them with the uh, um, with their head brewer, and then Five Suits uh, was the the fans hmm. uh, brewery. I think they're up in uh, um, they're up north. Uh, Silver was um, was Craft Coast. Uh, I think it's Craft Coast uh, Beer and Tacos, hmm. or Ooh, I think it's up like in uh, Oceanside, I think. And then uh, Hopnonymous. I'd never heard of them. And then bronze was Tap Room uh, Beer Company, hmm. which is right down, uh, I think North Park. Hmm. Wow! I thought for some reason I think that we're not deft. Yeah, it depends guys. on when the voting all started. Maybe. But you know, the pupil came through with the uh, with the gold and uh, society that West, that West Coast IPA. Mm-hmm. Society's doing a uh, a collaboration with uh, Modern Times. It's a hazy. They are. I think yeah. that release is that released today. Today, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. To run out there and grab some, you know you've made it when Costco's got your beer. Oh wow! <laughs> Are they uh, it's it's a pandemic society people? Yes, pandemic Santees. Yeah, they uh, they do have that. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, I wonder how they get in there as far as the the marketing deal. They probably asked them, "Do you want to carry our beer?" <laughs> and they said, "Yeah." <laughs> I mean, it's like we got plenty of room. You know, we just get rid of uh, some. Uh, Modelo or something, you know, <laughs> move that down the line. Yeah. Yeah. You go into that. Um, get rid of the Kirkland brand. The Mission Valley. That's, um, <laughs> well, Steve actually talked about that and how it's actually uh, that Gordon Biersch. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of, uh, yeah, it's great how much local beer they have in, uh, mm-hmm. in Costco. Yeah. For sure. I'm a, I'm happy. Yeah. 
I mean, we went something when like we did people. that road trip too. We every time we stopped at Costco, we go, I go check the beers section because right. they had great local beers wherever you were at. Right. So yeah, there's some there's some interesting stuff at Costco when you're in different states. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I mean, because you know they're going to carry the local stuff if they can. You know, if somebody's not able to produce, they're not going to have it because mm-hmm. they don't want to run out of anything. Yeah, I know. Because once they get something that's, you know, important for them or selling for them, they want more of it. So, and it's exclusive too. It's a, it's like they're the only ones that have it. You can't go drive down to the liquor store and get sometimes. So, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I've been into uh, Colorado, Costco. I've been into Utah, Costco. Mm-hmm. I've been into Arizona, Las Vegas. So it's pretty interesting to see what each place has. Back in Virginia, so it's it's interesting. So cool. What's next? Huh. What do you got over there, Charlie? Oh, it's kind of cool that they were able to put the nitro in a can. I got to give them credit for that. Yeah, that for sure. It tastes like a nitro. It and is. It's not like it. That's a it good beer. Nice. Yeah. I love that uh, that Banksy. Yep. Ooh, it's one of my uh, be special boys. And there's a new Banksy um, uh, uh, diagram or drawing or painting yeah. or whatever. He, painting out yeah, the, like some uh, some new prison, new art. It's a prison. Okay, this is modern Eden. Eden side of a side of a building. Yeah, side of a prison. Modern Eden is a uh, yeast of Eden and modern times collaboration. You got that right up there, Chrissy. I could probably do something about that. I can tell you right now, it smells pretty funky. Like dirty socks, funky. <laughs> I love that. So this is a um, looks like you have a. It's a like you, you had mentioned, a modern times and yeast of Eden. Uh, it's a grisette. Uh, it's a mosaic and uh, uh, Hallertau Ooh. Blanc. Uh, then Motueka uh, dry hopped with uh, addition of California lemon and lime zest. Tastes great. Just a funky smell, but it tastes extremely different than the smell. Why I don't know, but. I'm sure it'll be explained at some point. Check that out. What do you think, Steve? He likes it. It does smell funky. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a nice, cool 70s logo on it. Yeah, that is kind they of funky. They have great, uh, great can art. Yeah. Bottle Went art. Over there. Oh, wow. That's good. It's mild, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Not too sour, yeah. but funky. Mm. Mm-mm. And they make mm-hmm. a, more of these types? No, you can't get any more of this. No. <laughs> <laughs> they do, though. They make a... What's that grisette that they... Uh, so is that what I should be looking for? Is it a grisette? A grisette? No. Yep. Okay, I'm a fan of grisette. I don't know if you can get this exact one, though. <laughs> they do... Um, let me look up... Uh, give me a moment. No, but I mean, they, they popped out a lot of these little bottles like this, mm-hmm. and... Shh, they either do a collaboration or do their own thing, and there's plenty of them that are awesome. Like we did, what did we do? What was that one we did last, a couple of weeks ago or something? What was that that we found in my fridge or my box in there? Oh, that was that Jester King. Yeah, Jester King and Modern Times Collaboration. You remember that one? Mm-hmm. So this is like along the same lines. Mm-hmm. Very tasty, though. So when I search they uh, by by their styles or if we um, they've done thirty one grisettes wow. down there. So I've had thirty eight of those thirty one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure <laughs> they all taste wonderful. I mean, I'm a uh, what? What's the um, what do they call that? Transit of Venus. That's what I was. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple of those bottles too. They do. Um, yeah, they they release this. Uh, that must be their. Um, the most common one. This is a great beer for like going on a picnic and sitting it's really good. It's hard, you yeah. know, kind of funky. Is yeah. it, isn't it, uh, has something to do with white wine barrels or something? They do, um, they do it in all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, as far as their, um, red wine barrel age, white wine barrel age. I think this is a white wine. Mm. Um, they didn't say grisette on here. Though. You sure? Well, they may have, but I didn't read it. Okay. Here's it. Dry hop session aged in white wine barrels with pineapples. That's the explanation they give. But, you know, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so the wiki on a grisette is a, uh, it's a, a it's variety. A, of, sorry. You know, go ahead. A saison. Is it a saison? A saison. Yeah, it says uh, 
So it says that Grisette is a variety of beer originating from the mining regions along the borders of France and Belgium. It's mm-hmm. a close relative of other farmhouse ales of the region, including Saison. <laughs> is it Saison beer or to guards. Session? Uh, uh, though unlike those beers which were prevalent among agricultural workers grisettes were consumed primarily by miners Charlie Mm. young children little gray one (laughs) little children drinking these beers that's crazy so it's like it's a a low alcohol beer that's light body with noticeable tartness (laughs) similar to other farmhouse ales and in some ways uh, similar to the goes beers of of Germany goes there's mm. my fan. Yeah, there we go. I'm a big fan of Goes. That's a good beer. Yeah. This is really good. And I'm glad the kids are getting what they need, yeah. you know, drinking their those beers. <laughs> you, oh, you mean miners in a cave. In a, miners in a cave. In a, in a, uh, in like in a coal mine or something. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I meant young children. <laughs> I, I, Man, that was really good. I like I'm like surprised it. at how good uh, how good that is. So this is a uh, not available. They're, they'll come out when they come out and grab them as quickly as you can. I might have another one. No, so. no, but I'm just trying to think like if you wanted to go get one, mm-hmm. we should have like a backup plan. Yeah, so they would have like um, I would assume they they probably have Transit of Venus, mm-hmm. which is their um, their kind of go to grisette, which is a phenomenal. Yeah, beer. that's a goodie. It's a phenomenal beer. Um, and they they mix that with a bunch of different things. I mean, they make it different. Mm-hmm. They can change that up and yeah. But it's yeah. That's a I've I've drank a lot of Transit of Venus, but this was a uh, thing that interests me about this is this yeast of Eden is Alvarado Street's mm-hmm. offshoot, right? For their wild ales and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's what was interesting mm-hmm. about it because we tried uh, when we were at. Uh, one of the festivals, Modern Times festivals down there, it was either Funk or what was the other one? Festival of Funk and Festival of uh, Dankness. Dankness. Mm. And Yeast of Eden was there. And I'm like, this stuff is amazing. You know, I was super excited about that. And then I find out it's a, it's an offshoot of uh, Alvarado Street. And I'm like, oh my, that's a great deal there. It's an easy drinker, isn't it, Steve? It's delicious. We can get more of that if we want. I think I got another. I think I want to try the 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 one you can go buy. The so, Venus. Yes, I could just talk about it a little bit more. I'll, I'll dig around in there and see if I can find one for mm-hmm. you. Take it home and pour it all. Well, over. I think like for the wine drinker that yeah. doesn't want to drink any beer. Yep. You show them this, and that's the closest you're going to get to it, right there. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So I currently don't see like I'm looking at their um their their bottle list right now. I'm not seeing any um any grisettes but they certainly they have a lot of bottles if you look at their uh um their sours and i think like modern times had they put out unbelievable stouts their sours are are right there as well i don't know i'm I'm, you know what i'm gonna have to say their sours are better than their stouts you think so i'm afraid they are i mean on a on a as many as they put out I think they hit better on their sours than they do on their stouts. They have so many stouts that are fantastic, but they have an abundance of sours that are amazing. I mean, even stuff that they're they're pushing off on, um, you know, it's kind of like in between there, you know, like Star Metal and, you know, those that aren't really sours or more Berliners. Those things are phenomenal, but you get some of these, some of these bottles like this, I mean, with a collaboration, I mean, who knows? I mean... That probably there is top 10 of any of the stuff I've tasted from modern times. It's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Next, we're going to go with North Park Brewing. Uh, It's a 2020 Macaroons Before Dying. It's a bourbon barrel age pastry stout. Mm. This is our first stout from them. We did the the 2020 is over. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, th- I actually picked this up at the same time that we had picked that one up. Um, this was the uh, kind of the prize that day. Oh. <laughs> Shut the front door. T- this doesn't smell good at all. <laughs> you guys, I'm not going to put you through this. I'll drink it all myself. So this uh, death before dying is a. Uh, 
Oof. Um, so this is Bourbon Barrel Age Macaroons Before Dying, 2020 edition. Death Before Dying, aged in the blend of uh, Four Roses and Buffalo Trace Bourbon Barrels for 17 months, conditioned on raw and toasted coconut chips, Mexican Veracruz vanilla beans, and Mostra Amuliba Estate Papua New Guinea uh, coffee beans. Wow. So you should probably get some, uh, I would assume, some chocolate in there, some coconut, some Plenty coffee. Plenty of coconut on the nose. Let me tell yeah. you that right now. <laughs> Kiss a barrel. Yeah. We'll see the what barrel's we, uh, rich. Super rich in the, <clears throat> the smell. Sorry. Wow. Gosh, that's a big nose of beer there. Buffalo Trace. Oh, man. Are you a fan of Buffalo Trace? Yeah, I do. Dude, let me tell you, that is legit. It's all right. Yeah. Good call, Chris. I'd like to get into the business of let's let's try different bourbon barrels with the same recipe. That'd be interesting. I have a so I, I just picked up a set from uh Southern Grist and Horace. Oh wow. So it's five barrels uh or or five five bottles of stout, all of the same base, mm-hmm. put in five different barrels. Oh my wow. god. You just you just nailed what I wanted. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. So we'll have to, uh, if you want to do five stouts, we can definitely do that. <laughs> oh, that's Best more than two. our four regular. <laughs> I think that's a good call. What do you think of that? That is really good. Isn't it? It smells super boozy, but it isn't. Mm. It's mild. I mean, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is Horace-esque. Let's put it that way. What do you think of that? That's really, really good. It's like, um. Like coconut cake batter, a lot of chocolate, a little nice. kiss of bourbon. <laughs> nice. The um, it's not as thick as uh, um, I mean it's really it's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean I think like getting uh, I, it definitely tastes like the um, the coconut in there. Not it's not overpowering though. I I think I'd like a little you, more coconut. You just say cake batter, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking German chocolate cake. Yeah. That's what it gets. Oh yeah. It does, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's you have that super... coconutty, you know, mixed in with that caramely uh, icing. Yeah, if you just eat the icing in a layer, of just <laughs> that's a little all. Tiny like, bit. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, a good birthday beer. cake, man. Gosh, that's so good. Super impressed with that. Wow, Chris, you got any more of these? <laughs> nope, that was it. Mm. Oh man, Uno, one and done. I'm excited about. This man, I think I, I'm gonna sip on this the rest of the night. That is legit. Man. Wow, super impressed with that. That's so, a lot better than that other stout they had, which was good. It was good. It was just um, the that one didn't have any. Uh, um, there was no carbonation in it. Remember that? It was. Uh, it was slightly flat. Yeah, it was. It was a little flat. This has got some lacing. You know, we got little, a little, little more carbonation here. It's still, I think I'd like a just a touch more but it's a phenomenal like it's a phenomenal beer i think they 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 did this right i mean whatever they did they did it right i mean i would i would emulate that over and over again you know with maybe a couple of the little different adjuncts here and there and then just bust it out every time different different adjuncts but same beer yeah super it's a keeper pretty impressed wow Mm. so that was the um the number two that was the silver medal uh Barrel aged beer. Who was the gold? From both the, uh, it was two different beers. Let's pull that up. I can't imagine that. Wow. You know, that's because I'm not the judge. That's right. Well, there was numerous judges. It was the people's choice. Well, mm-hmm. some people <laughs> don't know. <laughs> some people need their, uh, their palate their checked. checked huh? Yeah. No, there was a, uh, I mean, uh, so 378 beers had been put in is what they, what they say. And I think like they, um, you know, they counted everybody one time, you know, they, like the, uh, the industry side was, you know, sent in by mm-hmm. like, it had to be like a, your email address from whatever, right. you know, only sent one time. Um, cause originally my fear was like, you know, stuff the ballot box or whatever, like, right, Hey, right, right. who has the biggest fan club yeah. or whatever, the biggest social media reach biggest or whatever, membership. you know? I would imagine that would be modern times with the biggest membership. Different members. But I'm 
Wow. You know, Burgeon was... So, um, they, my mouth is still on. No, it's, it's, yeah, so it's happy. phenomenal. It's so good. <laughs> Seriously good. I the mean, chocolate it's, flavor, it's too. That, like, wow. To me, it's it's shocking, shockingly good. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. So barrel-aged uh, uh, barrel aged Imperial Stout Gold uh, was the uh, barrel-aged Vietnamese Coffee Speedway Stout. From... Ale Smith, number one, number two, good barrel aged macaroons before dying. Mm. That was that was this number three, most retones, mm. and then uh, <laughs> Coriolis from uh, um, from Pure Project was was the uh, uh, Speedway Stout. Seriously, that yeah, some of that Speedway Stout's phenomenal. I mean, that's a is it in this league though? I didn't have the um, the Vietnamese. I you know, mm. Mm. I mean, I don't I don't know how it was, but. I, you know, here's the difference. Like the, so Speedway probably was, you know, it was, wasn't an adjunct stout. So you were just looking at a straight coffee stout. That's an unbelievable coffee stout, mm. you know, like I would have, I, but, but that, that Moster tones was unbelievable as well. So yeah. I'd like to try that Moster that. tones with coffee next to that <laughs> Speedway. And, you know, I'll tell you which I'm one. I'm in on that, that, uh, that deal. If we can find those. I'll, I'll, I'll do those. I'll buy them and drink them. I don't care. The, um. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, so lot like of, the reason Horace isn't in that list is because he doesn't have enough people who are drinking right. his beers, right? Right. Yeah. There's not enough. Well, uh, Horace is not Horace enough for is, his beer. Is he's in a like this is the San Diego Olympics, yeah. and Horace is in the World Olympics. <laughs> I think he's just such small batch. Yeah, yeah. He you know, he doesn't batch, have but his small mm-hmm. batches. They're unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, great. Even beer. the ones that are not. Unbelievably right. good, but only people who are get amazing. him are people in this club, right? So, right. Yeah. So, there's no public access in general. No. You got to be uh, so know somebody to get. Yeah, there's people like a lot of people are clueless. To, yeah, they have no um, idea. They've never. Which you know, I'm sure there's all kinds of breweries around yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Know? If it's just if we have the examples of that, there's got to be examples everywhere else. We got right? this right. one. Yeah. That's a little uh, off the beaten path for sure. Yeah. But, the. Uh, uh, Mortalis. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, what's that brewery in St. Louis that we had? Uh, side project? Yeah, yeah. That's they seem to be like in the same, like, yeah. you know, like not well known, but that, yeah, that, was, that, was, that, that was that was the first one you, I think you guys had me drink. Oh, yeah. I would have never hour. drank before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they're, um, they're super, so super well known, like throughout, you know, they, they do a lot of, a lot of sours. They're, um, they're stouts when they release their stouts sell out in seconds yeah. there's a lot of a lot and of you have to be in st louis to get their beer right it's yeah much. yeah because yeah. yeah. I, w- I went on my facebook and was trying to look <laughs> is anybody yeah that i know in st louis well i have a coworker actually who who uh who's in st louis who mm. can who can grab the beers the other day i was i was gonna have him pick some up and um the last minute i hit the eject button i'm like <laughs> oh, the last thing i need is another mm-hmm. dozen sours or so you could use my fridge <laughs> You could what? You could use my fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you knock it on your door at one a.m. Hey, uh, Steve, uh, you mind if I get a couple of beers? <laughs> no, go right ahead. So, uh, looping back, which yeah. uh, so we so we had four different beers. We had the uh, uh, we had the milkshake. Oh, that's so good. So we had the creative, creative creature, creature uh, Coronado, Tale of Two Creatures, uh, Key Lime Pie Milkshake IPA. That was good. We had the uh, Banksy on Nitro from from Burning Beard. We had the Modern Eden from uh, Modern Times and um, Yeast of Eden. Yeast of Eden uh, in the 2020 barrel aged uh, macaroons before dying from North Park. Would you like the best? You know, I, um, I I think this the macaroons before dying is phenomenal. But I, I do think I would. Um, I love Banksy. Like Banksy is like like I'm always in the mood to have a Banksy, right? So that's like like uh, I'm gonna have to pick up some cans of that nitro. That's if probably, they have any more left. Like I, I mean, I, I think out. I've said this before, but it's like my probably my favorite beer in town. Like as far as just to it used to be it was my go to forever. Every time I'd go to Burning Beard, that was the beer that I would get. Um, so it's got a special place in my heart. But that was phenomenal, and the Grisette I think yeah. outkicked um, the coverage. I, I didn't expect it to be nearly as good as uh, as it was. It was. Delish. So, what was your favorite though? 
Probably the north, uh, the north part. I Dakota. knew it. Yeah, I knew it. Big stout guy, Steve. The stout for sure. But all the rest. Okay. I mean, this is the worst one because they're all, they were all like so they all <laughs> exceeded my expectations. <laughs> right. this is like this is they were great. Yeah, all great. Wait, the, Steve. Yeah. You don't like stouts or sours, so what's the big? No, deal? I do like stouts. <laughs> I I was a big stout guy for a long time, but I just got off of it. But yeah. the sour, I mean that. That the modern times beer is just fabulous. If yeah. you wanted to share it with somebody who it's totally accessible. Yeah. And so and that stout is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's great. Okay, I'm probably gonna shock you guys with this, but the stout was my favorite. <laughs> was that your favorite? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But the rest of them were really, really good. I mean, <laughs> they're they're all running second. But yeah, no, they're, they're phenomenal. And they're, that, uh, that Banksy I think this is one of the best lineups we've had. There's uh there's some pretty decent beers in there. Yeah. The um in the Banksy's always available. And yeah. um creative not creature. On, not on nitro, <laughs> is it though? Not yeah. on not always on nitro. They just recently started can canning that, but you can pick up uh that at the normal some of Banksy, your, yeah. Yep. At, at the brewery as well as some local, local I have uh, beverage stores. I have an ESB coming from New York City. New York, get a rope. Yeah. Mm. It's uh uh the other half. Mm-hmm. Did an ESB and mm-hmm. I was like, "You're kidding me! Send me a four pack of that." Awesome. So I'm getting that. Well, we'll line it up next to old Banks. We should. It's, yeah. it's not a nitro though, but it's still. Well, they, they they just get the normal nitro. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get the two. That two Banksy will take on all comers. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet. ESB, <laughs> ESB fest. All right. Yeah, you know what? We can get the ESB. Now, Def, Def has, one? has three different levels of ESB. Oh, there we so go. they've got a mild, a medium, and a really, I don't know what they call them, the highest level one. Hmm. I drank them all. They're fantastic. So that we'll do ESB Fest. I wouldn't complain. Yeah, no. We That's could do a that one. a couple of times in a row. All right. <laughs> so as it is, uh, another episode of, 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 of Good Beers here. Uh, soon enough, I believe, uh, aren't we supposed to uh, record somewhere, Charlie? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make something happen. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.